This is the West Fork Hood River at Red Hill Creek Restoration Project. The purpose of this project is to create better habitat for all life stages of salmon and steelhead, including spring chinook, steelhead, and coho salmon. Before Europeans arrived, the West Fork Hood River moved across the valley floor. It was very sinuous. It had a lot of side channels and provided habitat for all life stages of salmon and steelhead. One of the things that logging did was they straightened the rivers and they cut off the side channels. So they made the river into a flume so that they could create splash dams, build it up, break the dams, and send a big whoosh of logs and water down to the mill. This completely scoured out the river channel. It made the river straighter. It changed the substrate from cobbles and gravels where salmon and steelhead could spawn to a boulder dominated system. So what we did is we tried to the best of our ability to reverse the trend and essentially unstraighten the river. So to do that, we had to be pretty heavy handed with large excavators. We had to bust through these berms that, that were disconnecting the main river to the side channels. Very large excavators that pushed over trees and removed a bunch of um, rocks and soil to literally reconnect the main river with former side channels. And then we also created those side channels with the excavator in, uh, along a lot of the length. One of the things that we had to do to reconnect the main channel with side channels is to elevate the stream bed in the main channel. And we did that by creating these massive boulder and log jams and forcing the river to move from side to side to add a little bit of sinuosity. The project reach on the main channel was a quarter of a mile. By creating side channel habitat in parallel to the main channel, we created another quarter mile of habitat. So we effectively doubled the amount of salmon and steelhead habitat as a result of this project. So to the lake person's eye, the river after we restored it might not look as nice as it did before. It looks messy um, and jumbled. And to some extent, it is messy and jumbled right now because the river is adjusting to the treatment that we did. But in the long run, it will continue to look messy because large wood is a really important component to fish habitat. It traps gravels, it creates pools, and gravels and pools are the backbone of habitat for all life stages of salmon and steelhead. It might not look like it, but this is actually a potential spring chinook spawning habitat behind me. You can see the right sized material and depth of water flowing over it. And before the project, there was no gravel here. And now there's about six feet of gravel that have been deposited on the upstream side of that structure. It was really exciting to come back the next summer and see what the river had done over the course of the winter. There was a huge amount of spawning gravels that had gotten deposited um, upstream of these giant structures that we put in the river. And it was also a phenomenal spring chinook return year. And so we saw two to three spawning reds in our project reach the next summer. And that was phenomenal to get such a fast result. One of our goals of this project was to create spawning habitat and to have that validated by Spring Chinook spawning in the project reach one year later was incredible.